That's French for we're drinking off the top shelf today. We drink like kings today. Well, sort of. Peeps, we have the Dalmore King Alexander III. The story goes Colin Fitzgerald saved King Alexander from a wild stag while they were hunting. King Alexander granted some land as well as the honor of bearing the stag head as their symbol. Hence, the Dalmore stag on the bottle. Also, this elixir, this water of life, this aqua vitae, will actually turn you into a stag if you drink it enough. This uses no fewer than six different barrels. That's a, that's a big dram. Oh. I'm making that face because I found this baby for around $280. You might be wondering, oh, that must be cask strength. No. Forty percent ABV. So do you think a 40% ABV can hold up some flavors to be worth $270? Upwards of $300? Okay. The six casks are Oloroso, Ex Bourbon, Port, Madeira, Marsala, and Cabernet casks. All in one. On the nose, Oh my God. It's that dense sweetness, like a, not pastry. Oh my God. Almost like a pastry, I almost say. Like a sweet pastry. Danish. There it is. Danish. A very sweet Danish. Oh, it makes your mouth just water just by smelling it, being in the room with it, existing with it. Not really, but it does make your mouth water quite a bit. It's got some deep flavors. Lots, lots of different fruits on this. As you could expect with six different casks, most of those being some sweet accents. For fruits, I was finding plum, the slightest coconut, some apricot, maybe a little bit of orange for more of a candied sweetness. I was getting a white chocolate and a butterscotch. I was getting a little bit of rose, which was a nice floral um, essence coming from the glass. And I was also getting either a walnut or hazelnut. But with this, I would almost go with a hazelnut. There is a lot going on in that nose. And that being at only 40% ABV, that's a hefty boy. It's jam-packed at 40% on the palate. Felt like I just ate jam. Like how thick it was. For flavor, I got quite a bit of blueberry, like a blueberry preserve, like a bittersweet chocolate, but with water. What does it do? What she do with that water? What do you want? I'm trying to sniff here. God. It wouldn't be King Alexander III without having the king of the jungle. Is this what you wanted? Yep. Okay. You're done. He's over it. The smell is a little bit muted. It's kind of disappointing. It went up in the fruity sweetness though, and the lightness. So it's kind of interesting. If you don't want it as deep and like plummy, dark notes 
add a little water, it'll it'll bring out the lighter citrusy notes to it. So that's interesting. I'd prefer the darker notes. Especially at that price. I don't want to add water. For value... $300. I will say I never had anything like it. I will say that. And I would give the value a 6 out of 10. It's very unique. Something you've probably never experienced before. Six different casks go into this. I think the closest thing would be the Japanese whiskey, Hibiki Harmony. For overall rating though, for quality, I'd give this bacon cheddar. I've never had anything like it. It is definitely a special occasion whiskey for people who know what it is and can actually appreciate the complexity until next time may the roof above us never fall in and we friends beneath never fall out when we're drinking like kings we never fall out kings are forever long live the king salute